G'day. I'm down at Caves Beach and it's at low tide and the tide's out and uh, just checking the place out. It's wonderful really. Secluded piece of natural history here but it is raining and there's water falling down from the from the cliff above me. Uh, however I just like to take you to different places where I travel to share some good news and uh, not only good news but some good advice too. I was looking in the in the word this morning and oh, a little echo in here I was reading the letter to the Galatians chapter 6 from verse 9 where Paul is telling the, the disciples, the, the believers, where Paul is telling us, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Oh, that's true of many things. You know, you will reap a harvest if you don't give up whether it be knitting a jumper or planting a garden or building a house, whatever you're doing, don't give up and you will reap a harvest. But he's telling us, let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. Be on the lookout to see how you can help your brother, to see how you can do some good that is needed at a particular time. For in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, it says this, it says, We are God's workmanship, or his handiwork, created in Christ to do good works which he has prepared in advance for us to do. God's got a plan for our lives. He wants us to be like his son. He wants us to listen to his son. He wants us to take his words on board. But he says, he, we are created to do the good works which he has prepared in advance for us to do. So when you come across someone in need and you can meet that need, that was predestined. God had that in his mind all along. He said, I'm going to send Joe Bloggs along here because he's got the gift to help this person out. And so it is that he, he, he wants us to use the gifts he's given us to bless his people, particularly his people. Bless all people, but he says, particularly do good to those who belong to the family of believers. So there's a little meditation for you today. Whatever that piece of good work is that you stumble across today that needs to be done, that was planned by God just for you to do. Don't leave it for the next bloke. It was meant for you to do. So there you are. Meditation from Galatians 6 verse 9 and 10 and from Ephesians 2 verse 10. It'll help you on your way to do what God had planned for you to do all along. You have a great day. We'll see you some more.